Hey everybody, welcome back. So before we get into the hives, wanna let everybody know that uh, we have officially uh, have our website up and running, gileshoney.com, and we'll put a link down below. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's not a storefront or anything like that, although we'll, we'll show some of the stuff that we sell, but it's, it's more of a um, educational slash blog slash, you know, mon you know, showing everyone, you know, our, our procedures here, our process and our, our, uh, our operation. So uh, we're hoping to add a lot of dynamic, uh, dynamically changing graphs and tables and all that stuff. Uh, so that you can see how how we do things and how it uh, affects our hives, and uh, so give give us a give, give it a look and, and tell us what you think. If there's anything out there that you want to see as far as blog posts or or any type of uh, information, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, to get up there when I can. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we're gonna go down and take another look at the hives. We're we're hoping to uh, to keep stay with uh, eight eight live hives and uh, we, we lost one here a couple weeks ago, but we're hoping, uh, you know, I get an idea we're gonna lose one, maybe two more, but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but anyways, um, again, go ahead and check out the website and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll see you down at the hives. It is February, what is it, 15th? 15th, I believe it is. Uh, and uh, we're finally getting towards the end of winter, which still looks, Looks like we're in the, the dead of it, but the temps are warming up. It's 30 now, and for the rest of this month, it's gonna be 30s with a rare, rare exception. And uh, they're even forecasting almost a, a straight week of 40 or higher. So uh, we're gonna start repositioning the hives where we've got them stacked too high. We're gonna take this top stack off and uh, slide them outside this fenced area and so that we can get in there more easily to do our uh, feed and make sure that those bees uh, have everything they need to get them uh, until the dandelions basically come out. So uh, we, we don't need to keep them all crunched up anymore. Uh, the dead of winter is over, so we can start spreading them out. So let's go ahead and start doing some of that now. So we're down here taking a look at the highs. We're moving stuff around. And this one here has got bees everywhere. Really wish all my hives were like this. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to pop a bunch of pollen in there and uh, see if we can... So, I don't know. I'm torn between trying to get that queen to start laying now or holding off a little bit. But, uh, I'm kind of torn because I'd like to get the population up as fast as possible. But at the same time, I don't want to waste resources if, if we get another cold snap and it uh, chills the brood and they have to rip it all out and start from scratch. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of torn on that. But anyways, we'll see what we can do here. They got honey up around. Looks like they'd last fall. They'd. Uh, I thought that was quick. Yeah, they just filled in a bunch down below. So that one's got food in it. Again, not a ton, but honey up around. At least stores. It must probably sugared water or whatever, but. Same thing on this side, plenty of food. These guys, I do not think starved. I think something else happened. This one is picked clean. Well, maybe they just got separated from the food when it got cold again. I think that's what, what might happen. They, uh, yeah, cause these frames here are picked clean. So maybe they starved, but only because the food was, wasn't where they were. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Look at this, this sucks. You can see where they were bringing the sugar and everything down, but this sucks. Nothing more frustrating than putting in a bunch of effort when you have Mother Nature screw you up. Look at that. 
Very, very frustrating. This is where the bulk of the cluster is, too. Look at that. Ain't that frustrating. Bunch of bee bread. Huh? Yeah, tons and tons of bee bread. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, down in there. Huh. And of course you got an enormous amount of bees down in. Great big old pile of them. This just sucks. Uh, it was... They were on the opposite side, they couldn't get to the food. That, uh, I gotta figure out how to adjust that next year, because that's, that's a shame to put in all that effort and have the food there and the bees just can't get to it. So if anyone's got any ideas on how, how to do that in these colder climates that warm up and then get warm up, the bees break their cluster and then it cools down and they can't get to the food after that, uh, if you got any type of solution at all, I would love to hear it. Because uh, the last dead out was just my fault. I just didn't feed it enough. This one here had food. Looked like it, you know, it wasn't overly, you know, overweighted by any means. But uh, there was still enough food there that they should not have died, assuming they could get to it. So, very frustrating. You know, another, another kick in the gut. But anyways, we'll, uh, we will persevere. We have... We're down to seven hives now. Let me go out here real quick. Show you. Seven hives. I got the two over there that I took off the other ones just so that I can feed everything now. Because uh, we've still got another month or so where the weather's going to be, you know, hit or miss. The, the weather forecast right now says uh, by the end of this month we'll have uh, a week straight of 40 degrees. That's what they're forecasting at least. So uh, once it gets up over 40 consistently, I want to start to... Uh, aggressively feeding them just to make sure they're not running out because it's it's still going to be a while before anything natural is out here so one of the one of the crappy parts about living in the colder climates but like i said before we will we will persevere hopefully we can get the rest of these seven through um there's still that one very small one small cluster that's in there that's still kicking kicking and doing doing about the same as it was last time but everything else is looking about the same you can tell that everything is most of the bees are up towards the top, so they're getting into the sugar now, um, no matter what they've got down below. So um, here's another question. Uh, is, have anyone else in colder climates uh, put a uh, li liquid feed on? Uh, what, what's, what's your temperature that you shoot for when, when, you, when you switch over? Because, I mean, I've, I've seen people up in Canada, I mean, there's snow on the ground. They've got, you know, uh, syrup buckets on the top of their hives. They seem to be doing all right. I've heard other issues where people... Uh, that do that, it, it introduces a bunch of moisture and they have a bunch of other issues. But, uh, so anyways, what's, what, what, what do you do? That's, that's the question of the day, I guess. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish cleaning up here and then uh, call it a day. I had, uh, when I got done cleaning up everything, I had four frames in that hive that had uh, plenty of stores in it. So, but it was all on one side of the hive. So, uh, what I'm thinking, and I don't know, maybe, I, I again, I've seen a couple of videos of people doing this, but maybe uh, next winter, I'm gonna focus more on the uh, the five frames, um, five over fives, and, and then overwintering them that way. And that way there, the, uh, I don't think the cluster would get separated as much because they're gonna, naturally uh you know chimney you know chimney pipe up and then uh or stove pipe up uh so that they won't get uh, separated the food will always be above them uh and i think that might be an option but because uh, like i said these four they've all got you know relatively good amount of food on them um but they were just on the other opposite side uh of where those other ones were and uh that's what the cluster was, which, uh, you know, it's a beautiful, was a beautiful cluster. And that is the most frustrating part is that everything else in that hive looked beautiful from what I could see at least. But, uh, uh, but anyways, yeah, if, if anyone's got any suggestions at all, any ideas on, uh, what they do, um, 
I'd love to hear it. So anyways, thanks again for watching.